Hey guys, it's Techline here showing you how to reduce lag and improve performance on the Galaxy S4. Now, the Galaxy S4 has some great hardware, but the main issue is TouchWiz. TouchWiz tends to uh, make the device lag, mainly because of all the extra services that are being used. You can see all of these are being used, and really you don't need to use them. So first off, we're going to go ahead and disable all of these, because really you don't need to use them. And let's be honest, they're just party tricks. And the next thing we're going to want to do is go to Play Store and we're going to get an advanced task killer. What that's going to do is it's going to delete and kill all the background processes which tend to take up a lot of RAM and also slow down the device. We're going to go ahead and install it and click open. And currently I've set the security level to low. So that's why you see all these extra processes. But you can see right now that the available memory is only 516 megs and that's really a tiny amount that's only one-fourth of the uh, available space actually available that means three-fourths 75 percent is being used by Android so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up to auto kill all these apps so we're gonna go to settings auto start should be enabled and this is gonna be enabled by default but just disable that and we go to auto kill level change it from disabled to crazy and auto kill frequency now I like to do it every half hour since it's more often and these devices tend to start up really quickly another thing is the security level and it's set to high and what that's going to do is at high all you're going to see is the main applications running but at low you can see all the tiny processes that Android is doing in the background and it's completely safe but once you select you're going to have to restart this app to be able to view it so we're going to click back and we're going to kill all these selected apps so you can see that the amount of RAM is freeing up significantly it's already at 879 megs so it is quite useful. Now another thing that is nice is to change your launcher. TouchWiz is a horrible launcher and it's really laggy. Switching to something like Nova Launcher or Apex is bound to show some improvements. We're going to install that and open it up. So that's fine. But another thing is when you're the transitions on this device are set to be quite slow. So you can change the transition speed by going into about device and just tap the build number multiple times like seven or eight times and that's going to enable developer options from there scroll down and you're going to find window animation scale transition animation scale and animator duration scale so by default it's set at one but changing it to 0.5 for all of these it tends to make the device feel much snappier also setting to force GPU rendering is going to let the GPU render something like the web pages or say basic apps like Twitter Google Plus and it'll be using a lot more power and make your device a lot smoother in the process so if this tutorial has helped you out be sure to rate comment and subscribe to the tech line and we'll see you in the next video